Matt Joyce was set to brief the media sh uh, earlier at the top of the hour, in fact, in Pretoria on the issue of food safety. Our reporter Hasina Gori is there and we're just going to touch base with her to find out what the delay is. Thanks very much for joining us, Hasina. So, of course, uh, we spoke to you earlier and we were expecting that very crucial and important Nat Joyce briefing. What's happening? Nombu, the last time we spoke, we were waiting that briefing at uh, the GCIS uh, from Nat Joints. We were expected to be briefed by the chair on regards to the foodborne illnesses following those cases that we've seen over the last month. But we were just informed a few moments ago that due to unforeseen circumstances that this briefing was postponed indefinitely to a further date. This briefing was postponed yesterday as well. We're told just that some of the loopholes with regards to the the results of the investigation uh, have not been closed at the stage and that families have not been informed yet of what exactly the results of these investigations are but also affected parties those may include uh, those that may leg be legally liable and that it was uh, unfair for those parties to hear about information and results of the investigation through the media. We know the police yesterday uh, gave a preliminary um, report and they said that their results showed that there's been uh, banned substances or banned insecticides that were found in two of the spaza shops, specifically in Naledi Soweto, where those cases of six children who had passed on um, that specific uh, spaza shop was investigated. Um, and, and to find out what was the source of the contaminant and the snacks that were uh, you know, consumed by these children. And it was found that in specifically that uh, specific spaza shop, but also in some of the households in that area, that there had been a banned pesticide that was being used uh, to deal with the rodent issues in those communities. Uh, we're unsure whether that investigation also looked into other areas, including not in Gauteng, but also to the neighboring uh, provinces where we've seen cases uh, flare up across uh, different schools where children have been taken to hospital. Just on Wednesday, we saw that case uh, here in Tembisa, in the East Rand, but also in Mpumalanga as well. 25 uh, children being rushed to hospital after consuming suspected contaminated um, snacks. So this briefing was meant to answer a lot of the questions that people are having but also to get an update from the police on where the investigations are and who may be held criminally liable for the deaths of those six children but also the uh, tens of others uh, that have felt sick. This is an ongoing story and we'll continue to try and get more information for you Nombu but for now back to you in studio. Thanks very much, uh, my colleague there, Hasina Gori. And of course, uh, SABC News is uh, covering the food safety issue throughout the day. So we will be keeping you abreast of that. And as soon as uh, the Nat Joints do brief us, uh, we'll have that for you.